Hello, what is Shocklings 1024 duty? Welcome you back to more Steel Break Chronicles Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we made our way here to Magna Forest and managed to discover that the map on this area does not fill in unless you automatically run yourself over there. And I was not going to go through all that detail of swimming around this entire massive lake. Don't believe me? Look how big that is. Yeah. You're stuck in swim around in that all day. You've got another thing coming. This episode, we're crossing bridge one to make our new destination known. Whatever it may be called. And I can actually tell, you can definitely swim in this river. You definitely can show that that is a waterfall over there, isn't it? That definitely does look like a waterfall. Well, if any collectibles are to be found down there, there's your sure um, going to be a fight to get. Right, there's an enemy over here for us to defeat. Uh, oh, the ferris. Okay. There's another ferris over here. May as well fight you. Oh, they look like leopards. A, uh, <clears throat> okay, yeah, good. I actually did get rid of the um, stat boost for the Magnaferist. I seem to notice that they actually do pack a lot of the physical defense boost. Okay, there's one. Thin blood. Interesting. Right, okay, I can't climb up that tree trunk. There is something down over here. Sitting. Oh, hello! Oh, jeez. Eight kelp mushrooms. That is a lot. And Okay, sure enough, it was another ferris. Oh, there's even jungle quad wings down here. Okay. There we go. Oh, physical protect. So that's what that was. I thought it was just defense boost. Wow, these enemies sure do like to inflict sleep a lot, don't they? Okay, there we go. More thin blood. Okay, so there's the jungle quad wings up there. Uh, right, I think what I'm actually going to do is... Since I noticed my level, I want to actually try and do that one quest that we struggled upon last time. Because as you remember, we was in the low... Actually, no. Um, what level were we? I think, were we level 32 last time? We tried this? I actually... Basically, what I'm trying to say is, we went over there... In Agora Shore last time, and we were not successful with trying to defeat a monster because every one of our attacks kept missing. And I want to actually switch my team around a bit, so, um, yeah, it's gonna have to be Ryan, Charlotte, and Dunban for this. I say no, Shulk, sorry. Hey. Honestly, you get your words mumbo-jumbo because you're that used to saying one thing so many times. Okay, so four items here. Cool potato. Moonflower. 
Dan Sapple, and another cold potato. And I actually collected them in a reverse uh, zigzag of a lightning bolt. <laughs> Replicating my logo somewhat, because I do use a lightning bolt for my um, logo in certain areas. Like when I was doing the TCG opening, um, well, yesterday upon doing this recording, because today's day is May 20th, and I did that TCG opening the day beforehand, on the 19th. Right, okay, I see. Right, so this Armu is still a decently high level, but not too high of a level. And I know, no matter what, if I start a fight with one, it's going to start a fight with a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight these plain armus and get rid of them so they don't cause too much trouble. There we go. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> nice, good use of that art there, Charla. Oh, come on. The army ran off. Alright, here we go. I still saw a miss. Okay, we inflicted slow on it. Oh, Straight away with the visions. Guys, you need to focus on the enemy. I can't do this myself, you know. Okay, it's just in time. Oh, not again. Come on. Okay, Shadow Eye. There we go. And I couldn't use Ryan because he was dazed. Come on, Light Heal. I need you to activate right now. Ah. Still cannot do that fight. Because when I target one of the Armu, it's going to target all of them. Wait, what? Calling them resident? Oh, okay, no way. I thought I was like an actual NPC and not actually talked to before that wasn't just called a resident. Because that's the problem, really, with that being as it is. I want to actually get rid of the unique monster, but I can't do it if it has two other enemies following its exact movements. Because it is still relatively high level. From level 37 to us being in the 30... 334 
area. I do want to defeat it. But... We just can't do it. With all of these enemies... So, I mean, honestly... They don't even have an icon near them to indicate that, oh, they will join in the fight with whoever you're targeting, like this, like these ones over here. It doesn't have that icon. Because that unique monster is a way of saying to kill the unique monster, you have to kill the other two. Right, let's defeat these heavy brogs. Since we can now actually do damage to them. Ah, oh, for God's sake. So many enemies resist break. I'm not sure if it's because I don't have the necessary gear for it or because of my level. Right, come on. The one chance where backslash actually would have been handy, and it actually... It actually didn't do anything. There we go. I saw an affinity change right there and I don't know who it was. Oh no. Shut up. No, come on. Ah. Oh, come on, I need a hit. Please, just stop missing. Come on. Now stop missing with that move. Seriously, that's the most powerful move I have. Guys, why are you changing your targets? Focus on one enemy. Right, there you go. That's one down. Come on, come on, come on. We need to get rid of these guys so we can actually deal with the big bad. Okay, chain attack. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, 
come on. You were on the break and you still managed to dodge an attack. There we go. Gale shot. Right, okay. Uh, actually, did I equip... No, I didn't! I didn't equip that new rifle I bought for Charlotte. Let's see. Arts, heal, agility up, and ether up. Ether up, arts heal, and agility up. There we go. Wait, wait! You were highlighted in yellow earlier on. Whatever. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, come on. Not the constant missing. Please stop missing, Shulk. Oh, for goodness sakes. What the hell? Literally, you were targeting, you were targeting Vine, and then all of a sudden you changed your target to go for me? I didn't even do anything! All I did was use Bernardo's speed to actually prevent Vine from being killed. And then he just changed his target. I, oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a quest by the gem man stall. But honestly, the fact that I still couldn't beat that enemy because of that stupid start. I mean, what the hell? Ever heard of a mobile furnace? After years of research, it's now possible to shrink furnaces. Alright. So I'm guessing that means that we can actually do this ether furnace like whatever without having to keep going back to Colony 9 anymore. Reconstruct Colony 6 to level 1 and collect an ultra small reactor. Okay. So, we can't exactly do that yet, because we don't have the collectibles to do that. Uh, right. But yeah, I'm still annoyed about that. I legit am. The fact that we started off that fight by missing the enemy entirely. We're in the meanwhile, let's complete the fetch collectibles. Sleep resist. I mean, with the fact that enemies keep inflicting sleep on us, I mean, it is useful. And let's see, it was Kel Mushroom that we needed for a quest. We needed eight of them. Alright. I'm not going to say water under the bridge. Because I am wanting to kill that enemy. Because we have to kill it to complete that quest. 
But it's just so frustratingly annoying about the fact that we actually missed on the very beginning of the fight. And then he just one hit killed Charlotte. Because on my practice profile, I was actually close to killing that enemy when I was level 26. I am not joking. Yes, I was actually missing a few times, but I still managed to get it close to killing range. Only to then have a stupid lucky moment of that one singular enemy where he managed to one hit kill us. And I couldn't recover from it. I think it actually is because of the gear I'm wearing, possibly. Because there is actually a likelihood of you increasing the chances of actually inflicting break. But I'm just not getting that lucky break. Right, so a lot of collectibles up here. But they are guarded by a lot of enemies, though. I can see an area for us to explore, so... Let's head down here. Okay, walking because there's a sound enemy here. A tenib fang. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, ah, oh, dang it. I was like thinking, wait, it's actually a decent enough level for us to just run right past. So never mind, but no. I misjudged it. Okay, so you can be inflicted with break easily. Is it because of the size of the enemy? Because I know they actually said that the bigger the enemy, the harder it is to inflict break on them. But large enemies, you have to inflict break with a, t with a chain attack. And even in a chain attack, it still wouldn't break them. Right, okay, I'm just going to leave you guys alone. I think that this area... Should actually be a warp point, but it's not. It's weird. This definitely looks like an area that we can warp to. It definitely does. But, anyway. Oh, we actually completed the flower collectibles. But, when they come into that, I'm going to end things off for this episode. Next time on Seasonal Chronicles Defensive Edition, we'll press on through Magna Forest. See you guys then.